Hi guys, uh, how how are you guys doing today? Okay, so today I have a video for you. I wish I wouldn't have to do. Yep. Um, I'm gonna show you the bag, which I had for about two years. And all this time, I thought it's authentic, uh, but it turns out it's not. And I was very, very surprised. I like to think that I can tell fake bag from authentic bag, but apparently I can't. Well, um, I gotta say this is very good, fake, because I um, wouldn't believe that it's uh, not authentic first time I was told so. So let me tell you the um, whole story. Let me show the bag first. As you can see, it's a Gucci Fidia, um small bag. Um, if you saw my uh, collection video, my bag collection video a while back, I uh, showed you this bag. And um, I think I said that uh, I bought it on Poshmark. If I, if I would buy it on Poshmark, I wouldn't have this problem right now. I bought it on Mercury when I went back and I started digging out. I bought it on Mercury in 2018. And I'm usually very, very, very careful. I believe the person who sold me this bag had a um, return policy because even right now I'm looking at the bag and and I don't understand. I, I don't see anything fake about it. I bought this bag with this receipt, so it came with this receipt. Um, the receipt it's from Paris store. It shows the price, so it looks like legit receipt as well. Well, so I decided to sell this bag. First, I uh, sold it on a Poshmark. So happy! I uh, I bought it for eight hundred, and I sold it uh, also about for eight hundred uh, out of pocket. Um, I think I sold it for. Well, 800 plus 20%. Um, and suddenly I see that uh, my sale was canceled. And later I received the email uh, because it was canceled due to facts that Poshmark cannot authenticate it. Uh, it does not meet the authentic authentication standards. I was very, very surprised. I was surprised to the point that I thought they made a mistake. I was sure they made a mistake. So obviously that bag was returned to me and I was thinking to myself, oh, and before that I submitted to a um, patient file for a quote and they gave me a quote a little bit less than I sold it uh, to the Poshmark for, so that's why I uh, decided to go with the Poshmark. And if you know, when you submit, submit a quote on a fashion file, you have a one month until that quote is canceled. Um, so I decided, okay, let me send it to fashion file. Um, I thought if Poshmark made a mistake and fashion file takes it, that the bag is authentic. If patient file will return it, then I, I thought, okay, um, I will have a second opinion that for sure I will know the bag is fake. Uh, but patient file takes a fee, authentication fee. In my case, it was $75. I said, that's okay. I just want to know for sure if this bag is authentic or not. <sighs> yeah, it's not to be not. So, Fashion file sent me back back and they sent me this kind of tag with it. I will show you. As you can see, it says based on detailed inspection, fashion file is not accepted this item. 
based on authentic authenticity. This it's circled. Okay, I don't know what I don't know what to tell you guys. Let me show the bag. I don't know. Are there any experts? Well, obviously, of course, I believe that this bag is fake now. Um, but I still still cannot. Well, that's not true. After that, I went to Gucci store and I just uh, looked at this bag in a Gucci store and I literally couldn't find any difference differences except this, this lining, it's slightly different color, very, very slightly different color. This is only, only indication that that bag might be not authentic because I, I, mean, I took a pictures of original bag. I, uh, at home, I compared it to detail. I, I'm amazed. This is very, very good fake. But, so I wanna show you this bag. And if any of you there are experts in the Gucci, I want you to tell me if you see any indication of the fact that this bag is fake. I'm gonna show you, I just, I mean, I just wanna know for future what to look for. Stitches are nice. So again, this color and pretty much shows true color as you can see it shows blue um almost turquoise so it's greener on a real bag so i had that tag i had all those numbers there they also when they sent me an email they said something about font discrepancy in font i don't see it it had even, where is it? It had this. Please tell me if you see any flags. Look at the workmanship. I'm telling you. What else, what else? What else I wanna tell you? I mean, I literally compared it to original. Yeah, I just don't know what to do with it now. Okay, obviously, I'm not going to sell it. By the way, when I went to back to the transaction, uh, transaction on Mercury, so that seller is gone. It's no more account of that seller, which is also indication that probably she just did one shot of sell and uh, um, and then disappeared. You know what? I'm getting more and more scared buying uh, bags on um, second market other than Poshmark or Fashion File. At least they send you the uh, authenticity um, proof with um, with um, your purchase. Uh, so if something, if God forbid they made a mistake, you can prove them that you sold it to me as authentic. In this case with Mercari, uh, uh, I could claim it, I could submit the claim within three days of the purchase, but I swear God, I got it, I had no doubt that this bag is authentic. It didn't even cross my mind. And I'm usually very careful. I'm very careful. Well, I was wearing it for two years without knowing that it's fake. Yeah, this is a story I wanted to tell you guys today. So basically, lesson learned. 
um, be very, very, very careful. And I never had a problem with Mercury before. That's the thing. I, I, I don't think I ever did. <sighs> yeah. Okay, you know what? It's just a bag. Of course I was upset, but you know what? Let it be the worst thing that ever happens to me or anybody. So I'll move on. Um, and I have like, I have other bags to wear, but um, just wanted to show you guys and tell you what happened. So you guys are careful. And if you did notice anything, any indications that that bag is fake, please let me know in the comments because I want to know for future. Okay guys, this is it for today. Let me know what you think. And uh, let me know about your experiences. If you had um, this kind of experience, um, if you are subscribed already, thank you for coming back. If you are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, uh, the same um, name, Love Me Some Lux, on Instagram. Um, and uh, also press that notification button so uh, you will know any every time I post a new video. As far for today's video, this is it. I'll see you soon. Bye.